Dave Ridley. Dandelion Farmer. I've been collecting dandelion seeds for a couple years. I don't have as many as I should. And here's something I'm doing <clears throat> that uh, you may want to consider doing yourself. That is uh, harvesting dandelions, or at least understanding them. Dandelions can be eaten. The whole thing can be eaten. I think part of it's supposed to be steamed. I've been eating the leaves and the flowers for a while. I haven't really gotten into the roots. Uh, but if you just cut the if you just cut the leaves off, then they'll keep growing, and you you still have your dandelion. You can just keep harvesting it. Obviously, they're easy to grow. The roots can be used to make dandelion tea, and I guess they can be eaten. At least if you steam them, I'm not sure they have to be steamed. I'm not sure which part you're supposed to steam. But uh, the uh, other thing is that once the flowers turn to white, you know, where they're starting to seed, then you just take the flower off before it starts spreading the seeds, and then they don't, uh, then they don't spread to places where you don't want them. If you're like me and you don't have the patience to become a real farmer, uh, then these little beauties are a sort of a solution because you can grow a heck of a lot of them they're great for you and uh, you don't have to have much skill just get on the net and look them up look up the instructions for how to best grow them but bear in mind the one thing i learned is that uh, you're supposed to plant them uh, a few weeks before the last frost so here in new hampshire that means dandelion planting season is uh, now or very soon that they're already growing. This is uh, April 15th that I'm shooting that. I will take these, you know, put them in this peanut jar, put a lid on it, put some soap and water in there and shake them up. You know, that's how I'll, I'll clean them. Also, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, uh, one of the reasons the uh, English colonists were successful was because they brought dandelions. When they colonized this privileged province, my nation, New Hampshire, I hope we don't have to wind up eating these guys. So I'm going to plant dandelions in this area and Normally, I think my understanding is you're better off sort of leaving a tarp on top of something for a while to kind of kill everything off that was already there. However, dandelions are already starting to grow here, so I don't want to kill any of the ones that have already started. So you can see how small the number I collected was. Ah, uh, let's see. Okay, here we go. Let's see. No, I've never done this before. They say you're supposed to bury them like a quarter of an inch or like a quarter to an eighth of an inch deep when they're outside. And you are supposed to space them about six inches apart if you want to grow them fully. They say uh, the ground should be loose, not hard packed. This is fairly hard packed, but I guess it's going to be a little bit looser when I push it back in there. One of the dangers, two, there's two dangers that I know of with uh, eating dandelions is of course that they could get mixed in with something else. You could accidentally pull some weed that's not dandelion when you're pulling up the dandelion. Or the, the other problem is that sometimes uh, they get a little bit of herbicide on them. If they give herbicides on them, I'm not sure if that makes them completely inedible, but it's probably bad for you. They say don't eat them. If you're in New Hampshire and you want some dandelion seeds, I will be happy to sail, sell and mail you some. Actually, I guess I should probably... <clears throat> they say you should use a garden fork if the, if the land is uh, hard, and it is. 
So the next space over, I'm gonna do this more properly. I'm gonna I'm gonna go deeper than that, but I can't do it with one hand. Dave Ridley, dandelion farmer. Ah, uh, open carry dandelion farmer, I should say. Egypt people is a very nice, and if the Egypt people take my advice, they will strike down the one party state they fear. But that had better not happen here, cause we know that everything would fall apart if the city of Keene, New Hampshire starts to listen to the malcontents at Free Keene and sort of kind of cut spending because the government needs some expensive things like the wasteful 34 West building and the boondoggle jail where we put hat wearers and other people who could be considered swearers freaking.com